Billy, an owner of an art gallery, suffers from blackouts. Her mother had dementia, and Billy fears that she may be slowly developing the same harrowing disease. Luckily for the young woman, medical checkups show no signs of the illness, at least not at the moment. One day, Billy meets a mysterious girl named Alex, who seems to understand her like no one else. The two girls start dating. Yet, as time goes by, Billy starts to realize that her lover knows about her memory loss more than she admits and even more, she may have something to do with it. Jagged Mind opens up with a cute warning that the film contains intimate partner violence, which is funny and sad at the same time. It's ridiculous how no one gives a damn about pools of blood, ripped out guts, and other essential elements of the horror thriller genre, while abuse, gaslighting and other forms of psychological pressure call for a warning, so as not to trigger overly sensitive audiences. As you've probably grasped from the summary, Jagged Mind is a film that revolves around women. Billy, the protagonist, is a lesbian. Apart from Alex, there is another girl Billy is romantically involved with. So if you're offended by homosexual content, Jagged Mind is definitely not for you. But the good news is, even if you choose to skip the movie, you won't miss much. Jagged Mind is naive and nonsensical, and this has nothing to do with its character's sexual orientation and skin color, or the fact that it was written and directed by women. It's just not a good movie, full stop. Jagged Mind barely has enough plot to last for an hour. If anything, it's a short film that was stretched to 75 minutes. Out of the total runtime of one hour and a half, a whopping 10 minutes account for end credits. The film has no significant plot twists. Once Billy finds out what's going on, Jagged Mind hits the final stretch, during which we witness some more bullying, gaslighting, and abuse. Besides, we learn that what the girls are going through has to do with ancient Haitian sorcery. Odd and implausible, this explanation feels like something you could come across in a Marvel comic book. There is a clear message that Jagged Mind is trying to get across. The film talks about the importance of staying true to yourself and the harm of forced relationships that will eventually crumble, burying all good things under a layer of bitterness and resentment. The problems the movie grapples with are both real and relevant. At the same time though, Jagged Mind strongly lacks a subtleness, a gracefulness, a metaphorical interpretation. It's funny how a film set in an artsy environment turned out to be so artless.